Hi, my name is Miss O'Halligan and welcome to Art 1. We're going to start with a PARP art unit. This should take roughly about three weeks. Our first project that I'm going to go over is to how to do a still life pop art project. So just a background with pop art. Um, this is posted on Google Classroom for those of you just to kind of read it along um, as I'm talking to you guys. But pop art was a visual art movement that started around the 1950s in Britain and the United States. Pop art term means that the subject matter of art draws on popular mass culture such as television, movies, advertisement, and comic books. Pop art movement was a response to post-World War II and the growing materialism of the era and consumerism in society. Pop art was a medium that made real the breaking of barriers that had existed for hundreds of years between high art and mass culture. So your first project for this first three weeks of the first um, of this last nine weeks of the semester, we are going to do a still life sketch using value. This project is for Art One. It's pop art inspired still life for your, of your favorite food. Your objective today is you will create a pop art inspired still life using your favorite food, using uh, your art elements of line, shape, and value. So I just went ahead and chose um, a little Dum Dum Pop because whenever you think of pop art, I always think of advertisements, something that's kind of bright, cheery. So I went ahead and chose candy as my subject using stuff around your house you guys because I know um, some of you might not have certain materials. Um, if you have a blank sheet of paper go ahead and grab that. If you do have lined paper that is absolutely fine. Um, pen or pencil will definitely work for this project. Um, so what you want to start off with is just looking at your subject. What types of shapes do we see? So just looking at my Dum Dum Pop I know inside there is a circular shape but looking at the wrapper what type of shape do I see? So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start sketching out my basic shape of my wrapper, just kind of getting a nice just shape down. And remember you guys, we draw light until we get it right. So I'm just sketching out just a quick little sketch. And I'm just trying to see and kind of gauge if I like the way this looks, this position of my Dum Dum Pop. Once I have a great position, then what you're going to do after you kind of plan out your drawing, just like we've always done, we do our plan sketch first, then to conserve on paper, you guys flip it over. And as you guys can see, I've already started sketching out my Dum Dum Pop. So I did kind of sketch out a little bit lighter. You can see some of my little fine lines and sketches. And then as I got more comfortable with my sketch, I went in and added a little bit more dark areas of my lines to create that nice shift of nice contour line so I could start adding in my value. Don't forget about your cast shadow as well. So looking underneath my Dum Dum Pop, I can see this nice cast shadow as well um, going from my light source. So once again, don't forget about light source. So since my cast shadow is coming towards my direction, I know my light source is coming from behind my Dum Dum Pop. So don't forget, start sketching it out. Once you get comfortable, start darkening up your lines, adding in that nice value. And remember you guys, your plan should take you probably a couple of minutes, anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes to kind of plan out your plan of action. And then for your project itself, it should take you a couple of days. Now, once again, I started a little bit earlier on my sketch than you guys did. So I'm kind of going in darkening up some of my little areas of my Dum Dum pop but once again I'm consistently always looking back and forth to my paper and to the subject that I am sketching and once again don't forget you guys whatever is at your disposal so when I talked about earlier you're going to be incorporating value within your sketch you could either do some hatch lines 
like I'm doing right now on this stick of my Dum Dum Pop, or you could go ahead and incorporate some crosshatch lines. Remember the crosshatch lines are those little hashtag lines that we talked about earlier on in the school year. Or if you're a little bit more um, comfortable with scumbling, you could do scumbling or the pointillism as well. Um, I like blending. If you have a blending stick, you could go ahead and blend in with your blending stick. Um, if you don't have one, your finger works just as well to create that nice shift of value. And remember how the objects are. The, the stick for the Dum Dum Pop has a curvature to it. So you want to make sure as you are adding in your value, you curve those lines as well to create that nice curved value effect to your Dum Dum Pop. And remember, wherever the light's hitting it. So I do have a nice dark line of value on top of my Dum Dum Stick, and then it's a little bit lighter on the bottom, but then you have that nice dark cast shadow as well. So you wanna continue to round out the stick. Just think of it as a long cylinder because it is. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter underneath. Once again, I'm using my finger, but I'm also using crosshatch lines as well. Then you're gonna go back in and add a little bit more detail and nice value to your drawing. I'm gonna go in and add some little detail of the pictures of what's on the Dum Dum Pop of the wrapper. So I'm just adding in some little fine lines for some of my um, wording on the Dum Dum Pop so I can try to keep it nice and straight the best I can. And guys, this really, you all know, I always just ask you guys, just try your best. And always draw light because if you need to, you can always erase. Part of the writing comes off of part that kind of gets folded in. So take all of that into consideration as you are drawing.
this is what I'm looking for for the um, very last part of your project to incorporate your value. You can use crosshatch hatch lines. Also, don't forget your um, cast shadow as well. Add in those little fine lines and details as well in between like some of the folds of the lollipop. I do also incorporate it some value as well. Also within this section back here, I added those darker in areas where the light's not coming in as strong and incorporating light. So you have that nice little shadow effect. And don't forget to incorporate your detail into the wrapper. So if you're gonna do candy, you wanna incorporate your detail into your wrapper. So when you are done with your drawing, what I need you guys to do is either upload it to um, the Google Classroom website. If you can't upload it to Google Classroom, go ahead and email it to me. Once again, my email is aohall one at neisd.net. You can go ahead and email it to me if you need to. And so this is your first project of this last nine weeks of the school year. Um, it is your objective was to create a pop art inspired still life using either your favorite food or something around your house incorporating line, shape, and value.